It's kind okay. of illegal for them to keep doing this stuff with the ad blockers. Yes, it is. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Mostly because some of their ads are actually really bad. Imagine living in a some world of their ads are downright own, uh, uh, questionable, yes. illegal, and, and promote certain subjects, which is like, YouTube, please, please, for the love of God, actually regulate your ads. Yes. Press objectify. Oh, wait, look. Hey, hey, people. Seth What's here. Seth going Imagine on about? living in a world much like our own, but a horrific distortion where men are systematically oppressed, objectified, and enslaved. Where the only the two hell? options in life are going to the forest to acquire berries and going to the gym to acquire a toned physique. Such a di I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a toned physique. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, like, I like how it's like going to the forest to get berries and then going to the gym to get a toned seat. That is such a change right there. Well, actually, they should probably be eating more meat if they want them gains, because you need a good amount of protein. You do need protein, yeah. Ber Last time I checked, berries don't have protein. Yeah, berries and nuts actually don't give you the protein, and for some people, apparently, uh, vegan diets for some people can actually basically kill them. Because it doesn't give them the nutrients they actually need. Which yeah, is... that's why it's my understanding when you're either a vegan, you have to... Either a vegan or a um, vegetarian, it's... you do need to take supplements to get the nutrients you're not getting from your foods. Yeah, that's why I'll probably never be a vegan. Also because some vegans are insane and treat it like a cult. Yeah. Dystopia can be experienced yeah, in the nations, which the is nations? actually the second game in a series. In German, it's called Die Volke 5, but in what? English, we we don't use numbers. Why not watch titles. an episode of Batman: The Brave and the Bold? That's actually not a bad idea, Petra. I know uh, Fable likes Brave and the numbers Bold. Numbers are for confusing the it's taxpayers. It's so good. You just like the part with flirterers. No, I legitimately love it. It's such a good thing. It reminds me of, like, Silver Age Batman, when it was more silly and fun and not uh, edgy and broody and annoying. I mean, that's not what uh, Batman, the yeah, I mean, series is, but yeah, anyway. Let's go. Let's go. Use numbers in our game titles. Numbers. I think the reason we don't use numbers in some of the things we translate is because we don't usually get the first ones. Like, I don't think the first Final Fantasy was ever released here. For confusing the taxpayer, this game was released, developed, and published in Austria. It's still funny that that was actually today. supposed to be the final fantasy game ever, but then yes. it got so popular, <laughs> then we got more of it, so let's just like... The, I oh, love dear. the irony of it being Final Fantasy, and there's 16. There's more than 16 of them. Right. Hey, I'll be covering games my mom likes in the event that she finds this channel and finds out that I am, in fact, not working as a stockbroker. <laughs> the lie is so deep that it's oh no longer a lie. I've had to learn about stock options <laughs> to live this double life, and I have to trade shit coins to sell the fiction. To get started, yeah. It makes it even better considering crypto is basically dying. And need a time machine. It is. This game really doesn't good. run on Windows 10. It's too old. So oh. I had to take a laptop that's nearly 10 years old and run it from there. It might look scuffed, and that's because it uh -huh. is. To keep it working, I ripped out the thermal sensor. Oh. Which means if I flip it over, I can reliably cook eggs on the surface. Upon Holy shit. The game, you'll notice they don't make menus like they used to. Just look at this shit. We've yeah. got head tracking, warm colors, hand-drawn art for every mission. The dude cool. even smiles if you put your mouth over him, and he gets sad if you try to turn off the game. <laughs> and guess what? If you leave a game unattended, it'll scare the shit out of you. <laughs> you'll hear buzzing from the other room, and Mr. P. Pim on going ape shit on every fly that crosses the screen. There's even a scorecard to check bug fatalities against the number of times he missed the start. Oh play. wow, <laughs> that's just goofy. Fable. <laughs> Freaking bug fatalities. 
interesting. You need to pick a campaign. There's two for each race, one okay. for the original and one for the gold edition of the game. Now, let's talk about race. There's three of them. The Pimons, okay. the Sajikis, and the Amazons. Amazons are humans, but instead, we live in a matriarchy. Only oh. girls can own property, and men are nothing but slabs of meat to satisfy the female gaze. Pimons <laughs> are obese, lazy alcoholics what? whose only desires are to eat, drink, and avoid responsibility. To them, the prospect of an honest day's work is just as horrific as sobriety. And what the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh, America. Got it. What the hell did I... Oh, okay, moving forward. When you see a Pimon female... <laughs> it's true, though. Pimon, but holy shit business at the back. I've heard the cliche of that's no ass, it's a dump truck, but in this case, that's no dump truck. It's an international cargo frayer. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my God. God damn it, Seth. What the hell, Seth? Sajikis are actual, literal bug men who plan oh. to backstab you the first chance they get. Luckily, they're completely retarded and will often betray what? each other before they manage to betray oh you. Game oh, they're the Skaven. You can't. Basically, you know how Skaven constantly betray each other before they're willing to do anything? Directly, you can only influence yeah. them in the right direction. The life cycle of an average citizen is very intense. One day, you're born. The next, you're a teenager that's ready to enter the labor force, which huh. operates on a planned economy. So is he wearing like a like a beanie and a gold chain? I'm doing fine, Common. I hope you're having a good ah. It doesn't mean throw a fish at me. The moment you join the labor force, you move in to your government assigned flat and get married to your government assigned girlfriend. The day after that, you give birth oh, wow. to another two kids and repeat the cycle. You can tell Austrians made this game because they're aliens that consider 6 p.m. as bedtime, which is the time. You <laughs> what? 6 p.m. is bedtime? <laughs> day ends and proceeds to the next as your settlement expands and your population I explodes can't. you're going to need I'm doing pretty good but just uh confused mostly not by yeah. well by the video and everything else but e yeah. better technology. To get that, you're going to have to build a laboratory. Once oh. you do, every scientist in the free market is going to break down your door looking for a job. This wow. game contains a highly realistic depiction of academic research. Bachelor students are highly affordable, yet highly incompetent. While masters and PhDs research much faster, they also demand a higher salary. But yeah, that sounds about right, honestly. Uh, bachelor students do experiment a lot more with unproven theories. Ironically, the faster they work, the faster I'm going to fire them. Each what? mission, your civilization has an evolution level, of which there are three, which I like to call the village, the city, and the state. Advancing in evolution gives okay. you more technology, but also gives you more responsibilities. For example, evolution level two gives you bread, but also okay. gives your citizens a hunger for pastries. And if you can't provide... I mean, that sounds pretty simple. You give them bread... And they turn it into pastry. Their daily croissant, then guess what? They're going to turn into hardened criminals. And they're what? going to get their baked goods one way or another. They also develop a need for God. Or rather, God develops a need for them. Because... What? I'm guessing they invented religion now? After evolving, if you don't send a daily prayer, God is going to send you a bubonic plague. Oh! The highest evolution level comes with the highest demand. Wow. At this point, every family requires multiple luxury goods each day, or they have a mental breakdown. <laughs> These are unique for each race. Oh, so a modern day, like, high class society. Need all the luxury goods now. Confirming the belief that the only people who consume energy drinks are teenagers and bug men, the Sajiki <laughs> have a high demand for monster energy, which is, of course, made from snake poison. In contrast, the Pim I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if monster energy is made from snake poison. The way it smells. I My sister used to drink that stuff all the time. And I'm just like, why? Mons ferment mushrooms into Too alcohol much of that will lemon. literally hurt you. There was the one guy... Case. There was, uh -huh. there, uh, there was one guy in high school that I knew that uh, he said, yeah, I don't really go to sleep. I drink coffee and then I take a monster energy drink. And I asked him to his face, how are you alive? How is there? How are they alive? Jesus. Hello, you know. You can't just pop in when we're doing reactions, you know. And he's quiet. Zons condensed berries Hello? into pies. There's not that. I said you can't. Next. You can't just jump in when we're doing reactions. You know. Oh okay. 
I was just wondering if everyone's okay. Everyone's fine, as far as I know. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, man. I would. Oh, okay. I was gonna tell him I would tell him if something was that big of a problem. More to it. You sit back, relax, and set the game speed to turbo. If oh. I'm very honest, the campaigns aren't very difficult. That is, until you get to combat. Military works very similar okay. to research, except this game borrows heavily from the Democratic Republic of Congo school of conflict. What? In other words, you don't have a standing army, as per se. Instead, you hire PMCs and mercenaries oh. who will fight, die, and commit war crimes for a daily salary and since they don't trust the stability of your printed hyperinflated fiat currency they only take oh. payment in bars of solid gold what or oh sausages and pastries and really whatever else you offer them what the hell uh i don't even know how to describe what's going on there uh that's a thing. Honestly, they'll take anything. Military are the only units you can directly control. And usually, victory is a question of who has the most gold to fund the largest private military. So I mean, that is kind of how some militaries work. Who has the so most money to throw? Make the most gold? Well, <laughs> by trading. That's Unfortunately, exactly in this game, the Not exactly true, but yeah. Entirely monopolized yeah, by who, did you ask? By the same the people who monopolized child. I'm sure they're in World of Darkness. Uh, the upper class we have in it. Well, they're not completely the upper class. Just in certain areas for a World of Darkness. But yeah, moving on. Held birth. Storks. I'm not even... What? Market what? Is entirely monopolized by I need who, to see did this. you ask? By the same people who monopolized childbirth. What? Storks. What? I'm not even joking. This is the actual lore of the game. Also known as the Flying Merchants, they control the entirety of trade. So whether you sign a trade contract with another hell? player or sign with a Flying Merchant directly, it doesn't really matter because you still depend on their aircraft for transport and they directly fix the prices. Oh. So you try to trade as much volume as you can for diminishing returns. Get as much gold as you can and then pray to God and in return, he's going to double your gold. And then, you're going Hopefully. to commit an atrocity. Uh. This game isn't that deep, but it's charming, and it's made with love. The music has some real banger tracks in there, the dialogue is hilarious, and the mm. sprite work. Oh god, it's gorgeous tracks in there, the dialogue is- We have a list here, come up with the best brag, given a task most plenty of responsibility. Unfortunately, in case her position, new player is not a single- Come up with a fixing ex- we therefore ask you to help us it's build a new town. The sprite work. Oh god, oh it's god. gorgeous. As a kid, I never understood the appeal of just watching shit unfold. But now, I get it. I want to see, feel, and share in the struggles of each of my individual bug men. From a little baby larva, to a teenager, to an unemployed crackhead because I forgot to send him to school. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that. Because in this game, the state is directly responsible if you become a fisherman or you end up shooting meth into your arms. Because, That's as a insane. good friend once told me, smoking meth is for the rich. We're not rich. We're middle class. I did hear a <laughs> critique of this game, however, and I will address it. Here it goes. Yeah. Population control. Or rather, the lack of it. You oh. see, if you keep building, your population keeps expanding infinitely and exponentially oh. until you can no longer sustain yourself. But I found the answer to that. To understand it, you need to understand that every citizen has motivation, which is the sum of positive and negative events they've experienced that day. And to clarify, in Amazon society, that only applies to women. Men oh. don't even have an emotion tracker. That's how secondary our role is in society. We only live, get ripped, and die. Wild animals <laughs> don't even attack us, because that requires us to have the capacity to feel upset about such an event. In oh fact, men only have two moods. One, pick berries, and two, look for wife. But I digress. If motivation drops too low, that citizen either becomes a criminal or leaves the city altogether. This okay. is important, because earlier, I made a mistake. There's three evolutionary levels to civilization, but in reality, they are the village, the city, 
and the police state <laughs> what? in a game without contraceptives wow. and reproductive policy the only means of population control is to arrest everyone we don't have to oh build my homes God. because we can build prisons instead you see at a certain level we can no longer afford to keep everyone happy misery is an essential component of stability and those who i'm not sure that's true at all will be re-educated by the state again and again and again until they finally break. Perhaps this little game from Austria accidentally communicated something that it never intended. Yeah, that I don't think it... In years of modern society to keep spinning, it becomes inevitable that the fate and destiny of many men and women inside uh... the system is to be consumed by the system. Or maybe they just uh... didn't really think about it. I hope They you... probably didn't really think about it. Let's be completely honest here. It's a little game from Austria. TED talk on why we should reinstate capital punishment next time child labor is it really labor if we don't pay i give this game oh my a god good score. <laughs> it? i don't know that's that sounds like something platy would say i know it is i hate I've the fact that out. it Do does sound it? like yes. something should say. buy it no in yeah. summary i hope one day we will reach universal suffrage where the voices and opinions of men will be held equal to women until then all we can do is spend our days driving around in john deere tractors and body build forever as always more content to come oh so stay gosh, tuned Seth, i know i feel slow, hell? but it should get faster a warm thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and bankrolling these videos this one however is free now if you'll excuse me i have a grill to get back to all right sorry guys uh uh thank you all so much for watching i'm sorry i got pulled away for a second thank you all so much i'll see you guys uh, give me a second Thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.